Okay, so everybody sees that we have this drawing up. That's the one that you guys have been working on. As you can see, I have it open, just showing you what we need to do. I'm trying to find the volume. The command you need is measure. Sorry. Oh, measure. Geometry volume is what we want. And as you can see at the bottom, it says to add volume, subtract object. We want to add volume. So you can hit A or you can click on this on the new version. You can click down there. There it is. I hit enter and ask me for length, the height of it 44, that side of it. And then now I'm still in the add mode. So let's add the other part of this. Height, that's 12 on that side. Okay, now, now that I've added everything, I need to remove some things. So down at the bottom, you've got another set of options. Subtract volume now. Now I'm gonna subtract. Click this, 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 that. Enter, and it gives me the height, and that's was 44 for that piece. And then again, now I need to take that hole out. Oh, but it's not letting me pick that hole. So down at the bottom, you gotta look at the options again. Oh, there's object. So it lets me pick a circle and now specify the height, 12. There you go. Hit enter and there's your total volume right there on the screen if you can see it. And you can enter again and then exit out of that and you're done with the volume for that. You can do the same thing for this part right here. Now this one's a little more, a little trickier because now you've got some different places you need to cover like this shape can only be covered in this view. It cannot be covered in this view because you cannot see the height and things. You cannot see the shape. You can see the shape here and it only has a thickness so you can define the thickness. So let's go back to that same command. It's a volume. And what do we want to do? Add volume. And we'll do this one first. Hit enter and ask me the thickness of that, which is 12. I got that volume, now I wanna keep adding volume. So just like the other piece, I want this whole piece here. Enter it, that's also 12. That's the thickness of it right here, it shows it right here. So now I've got all of that. Remember, I'm adding now. Okay, now can I get, can I add here? No, I can't, I gotta to go to this one here that covers the whole face of it. So I'm gonna to go to cover the whole face which is the whole back wall of this part. Enter it, and that's also 12. Now I've got total volume of this whole part. Now I need to remove a few things, right? We've got this little piece here, and we've got this little piece here. So down at the bottom, we've got to go to subtract volume. Come over here and touch this, touch that, touch that. You can see the color changes, which means it's coming out. Enter, that was 12. Okay, that's out. I'm gonna do another one because I'm still in subtract mode. Enter it, and that's also 12. And voila, we have your total volume. You enter, exit it, and remember F2 gets you your stuff that you did. You can scroll back and find. There's your total volume, right? Where was that total volume? Right here's the total volume of the second part. Go up higher, you can find the total volume of the first part, which we did earlier, right here. You can copy paste those and put them onto your screen. Use the mText command. mText. And what do you do? mText, you can just do a box. And then F2, bring that thing back up. You can copy paste. Copy, paste, okay, and there it is, right there. See it? Of course you can type all the things you want, like what I did here, I made it cubic meters, instead of this is millimeters up here. So I converted it, and just put it in there so it's nice, and made the text a little bigger, so you can double click on this, highlight the text, you can change the size of it right here. Um, say 3.5 maybe. Or maybe even bigger than that. Why don't we 
we go to four. Let's go five. There you go, five looks good. Okay, thank you very much.